Hello everybody and welcome to it. Today we're filming outside. Um, it's a long story. <laughs> Basically, my dad has some friends over and they're all playing instruments in our house and it's very loud. But yeah, it's a nice day outside so we're gonna take advantage of it. Today I'm showing you guys what's all on my iPhone. This is the iPhone 12 in the color gold. So I just got this last like November, I believe, and I did an unboxing, so go watch that if you haven't yet. So I'm gonna show you guys all my favorite apps and the things that I use the most. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right on into this. But first, I just want to talk about Casetify for a minute. So thank you so much, Casetify, for partnering with me for this video. They sent me this huge box full of cases, which is so nice of them. So I just quickly wanted to show you all all of those and talk about them for a second. So first, of course, they sent some cute masks. And then, oh my gosh. First one is this adorable floral one, and it's like a clear case. You guys know I love flowers. Next one is a compostable one and like a really eco-friendly one and it has my initials down there it says JKC. This one also just says Julia Julia Julia. I really like the like font and the style of that one. And then the last one is what I have on my phone right now. It's so cute. You guys don't know I have a French bulldog puppy so when I saw this one I just had to get it. It's just a bunch of little French bulldogs and it's so cute. And then they sent these disinfecting like clean wipes and then they sent another glass screen protector which is so awesome of them. So what I love most about case device cases are that they are both slim and protective. Their impact cases are built with two layers of Chi-Tech and they are dropped has to prove for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet. Another thing is that they obviously come in so many designs and they're so customizable. So you can pick your favorite color or print to match your style and you can put your name on it or your initials in any font or color that you want. So overall, Casetify gives you the best of both worlds, protection and personality. And Casetify's antimicrobial coating keeps your phone case protected, germ-free, and kills 99% of bacteria. And they are partially made from recycled plastic so you can feel good about your phone case looking good. So I've obviously been using Casetify for a while, but they just launched a brand new line of the drop tested and the antimicrobial cases. I just love how the case is like slim and not like bulky like other brands, um, but also like still so protective with especially like the bouncy bumper corners. So seriously, it's 2021. Y'all need to get on Casetify cases. So if you're interested, you can go to www.casetify.com slash Julie K. Chris and that'll get you 20% off. I will also have that link down in the description for you. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the video now. Okay, so here's my lock screen. Very cute. It is like a vision board for 2021 or just for the month of January, honestly. I change my screensaver so often, um, but I like it. It just has a bunch of things that I want to achieve, like buy an iMac desktop. Oh, hello, dogs. Go away. Buy a Jeep, um, just like lots of fun little things like that and inspiring quotes. Then I open up and the first page on my home screen is like a bunch of aesthetic things and the next page is actually functional. Also, I only have 8%, so, oh, now 7%, so we're gonna try and work with it. So my quote in the top left just says, align your action to your goals, which I love, and I always need that little reminder. Then I have a picture of my boyfriend and I, his name is Keegan, um, then a little medium widget, and then one that has the date and like the day of what it is, <laughs> so like Saturday, the ninth and then over there I made my own little widget on procreate this morning of like some of my resolutions so read more get on Pinterest more often rather than like TikTok and Instagram less complaining drink more water and post three videos a week so those are some of my resolutions I thought that was really cute all those widgets are on my Pinterest so if you're interested in making it similar there you go over here it's really boring I just have my Apple music and a calendar um, but then the next page is where it gets fun so this is my functional page and yes I did go and color cord it for no reason. <laughs> so I have my YouTube studio, which is basically like the back end of all my YouTube stuff. So I can um, put my thumbnails on my videos from that app. I can respond to comments. I can look at my analytics. Um, next, I have my YouTube app. This obviously I use to watch YouTube. So that's exciting. I also just get all my notifications on there. So I have to go clear them up there. <laughs> next, we have my Instagram. Obviously, go follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. I'm getting so close to 50K over there. So that's really exciting. Um, I've been on a really strong Instagram reel kick lately. So I've made so many and I have like five in my drafts right now that I want to show. So there's a sneak peek for you. At Julia K. Christ. Next, my Apple Music. I like to keep my Apple Music private. So sorry if any of you have ever tried to follow me there because I don't like really sharing my music. So yeah. Um, next, we have my Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It's just like so inspiring and I love just going through my home feed and seeing a bunch of things that I like. Next I have home. So this is what controls my um, Apple HomePod mini if you did, saw my unboxing. So I can like talk down to my HomePod or I can talk up to my sisters if I like click on this. Like, hello Sarah! Um, then that'll send it to her room and she'll hear it. That's exciting. And then I have my sister Emily's as well. 
Next, my Etsy. That's what I use to sell my presets and my goal notebooks. If you haven't seen my notebooks, here are my goal notebooks. I am selling these. I made them and designed them personally. They're for you to write your goals at the beginning of the month. And then um, at the end of the month, you go look at them and cross them off and you make new ones every month. So if you want to buy one of those, um, I'm going to be dropping those soon. I'm sure I have the details on this page. So yeah. FaceTime, obviously you know what that is. Starbucks. I've been loving the Starbucks app lately, like going and pre-ordering my drinks and then picking them up in the store so I don't have to like, wait google maps my photos like though i have so many pictures and i need to go through and delete them all um, my mail i have like all five of my email addresses on this one so that's really nice so it's just like a big hub on my phone rather than like because on my computer i think i have like all of them in different spots and then facebook twitter i really don't get on twitter that often um lightroom so that's how i edit all of my photos for my instagram as well <laughs> my like sororities Instagram and my thumbnails so I have a preset that I made it's called blush pearl I'll link it below if you want to buy it but that's basically how I edit all of my stuff next Venmo gotta love Venmo college student must have if you don't have it yet group me that's how mostly like the school groups at college and my sorority all communicate Canva I love Canva for making graphics for everything like when I promote a video um, that's how I make a lot of these. So that is a video that I put on my Instagram story when I wanted to promote this video. Next we have TikTok. I've also been liking TikTok. Oh, got a lot of vacations. Um, but yeah, that's exciting as well. Um, this One Second Every Day app is really cool. I started it on January 1st and basically you put a second every day of 2021 on it and then at the end you'll have like a five minute video of like seconds and stuff or I guess it'd be three minutes and whatever four minutes so let's add a snippet for today okay and then sure okay amazing camera I love the camera on the iPhone 12 Pro with all the three cameras it's amazing Ooh. okay and then I have my bank my notes and then my visco which I I'm so bad at getting on. Um, so that's all the apps on like my main page, but then on the rest of my iPhone, I have so many other apps. Obviously, um, I don't know if there's any that I get on the most. Oh, I forgot to show you Flora. This app I recently got, so you basically, you guys can add me with that QR code. Um, you start a task, so like film a video, and then you start it, and then if you get off the app and like get on your phone, or get off your phone, no, if you get off the app, so like if I close this and get on Instagram, it like kills the tree that I'm trying to grow and then it's just sad. So basically it just gets you off of your phone when it, whenever you have to do homework and I'm going to kill a tree because we're doing a, what's on my iPhone. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I like it to just keep me off my phone because I always get back on my phone every single time I'm doing homework. Next I have the Notion app. Okay, so I've been on Notion Kick lately. If you haven't seen all my vast videos or all my TikToks, um, basically it's just like a way to organize everything. So I have it on my MacBook, my iPad, and my phone. So yeah, I also like, I like to keep my, oops. I like to keep my content calendar on it for like YouTube stuff so I can like go and see everything that I'm gonna post so that's fun and then you can just see all my other basic apps not really fun another one that I really love hopefully it doesn't leak my address so it's called shop and it keeps track of all your orders if you like link like your gmail account that you use for your orders or you could type in the, like the number yourself so like as I can see I have this sweatshirt and it's in transit but all these other ones I tracked and stuff like that so it shows when they're delivered so basically it shows you all of your like orders your online order um oh. <laughs> okay had to move to a different location <laughs> awkward anyways so there's one last app that i really need to show you guys and it's called lens buddy so this is what i love to use for my pictures oh gosh <laughs> that's embarrassing so basically what it is is i set it up on a tripod or over somewhere else so you can pick the number of photos that you want it to take how many how much time you want like between each photo um, so let's just say we do three with it one second between each and normally you put it on a tripod and you don't just hold it so it's really nice for like actual photo shoots like these ones with my sweet little so like we didn't have another person there home to take pictures for us so we just set up this app and took a bunch of pictures and like you could do multiple poses so you're not sitting up there and like running and clicking the timer every but every time like so that's how i took all of these 
and oh, this is how Lauren and I took these. So instead of like having a button clicker or if you just don't have one, um, you can do this instead. So I think it's really nice. Great picture. <laughs> Again, if you're interested, I have my wallpaper on my website. I'll link it below for you if you're wanting the same one. Don't forget to check out Casetify. The link is below. Subscribe, hit the like button on this video and comment below what type of phone you have if you made it this far into the video. I have the iPhone 12 Pro, as I mentioned. But yeah, that is all for now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my channel next time. <laughs>